Hi everyone, this is the tutorial for the JavaScript Triangular Arbitrage Bot version 3. I'm very excited about this one. When you download it, it'll be a zip file off GitHub, and you unzip it, and you'll have just like the other um, version 1 and 2, but totally different graphical interface, totally different feedback. It works a lot more smoother, a lot more um, easier to detect if there's an error, and more error feedback tell you what you have to do to correct that error. I know a lot of people are having some problems with it, and this sorts out all those problems. So after you download, you'll have these files, or after you download and unzip it, you'll have these files here. But um, let's go actually caught the bot in action. This is what it looks like now. And it actually caught in action, finding a triangle arbitrage, 100% successful. It stacked my Ether stack by 25%. That was amazing. And this is um, it running for 28 days. 24-7, starting Ethereum, ending Ethereum. You actually see the, what the price was of Ethereum back then, just a month ago, compared to what it is now. But yeah, look how much I stacked. Wow. If I would have just held that Ethereum without um, running no bot or any kind of program, I would have just had about 1800 bucks right there. But yeah, now I have about $24,000 from just that 1.8 Ethereum. Now, when I did run the program, I only utilized... I had a set for 0.5, yeah, 0.5 Ethereum, so it only actually used 0.5 Ethereum to make the 23 Ethereum in 28 days. So that's it's running, and I think I have, okay, so now I'll go into how, oh, actually, I guess I will show this again. I actually won fourth place on the code off. This was actually for the version 1, so I'm looking forward to entering the version 3 in the next code off, but... We'll see how that goes on the next one. See if I win a higher prize. So let's go into configuring it now. Super easy to configure. Um, so once you unzip it, you'll have these files, the config file, and the transaction hash file. Now the transaction hash file, I'll go and talk about that. Any kind of transaction the bot makes, the transaction hash will be kept inside that file. So you can always go back and review it. And the config file, this is the one you have to config. So you're going to edit this. I actually made a test key just for, let me move this out of the way, if I can get to it, right here, let me get this one on top, just for this video I made a test key and a test public address, it matches it, so I'm going to put that in, so this is the public address, it goes right here, and this is the private key to that public address. Now, if you have a like a hardware wallet that doesn't give you easy access to your private key, you can put your wallet seed in there, and you'll use that instead. You can also put your wallet seed in there, and let's say you have multiple um, Ethereum addresses. You can actually you can put the wallet seed in there, and then put the Ethereum address in there that you want it to utilize and only utilize, and it will only utilize that one. And then after, so after you have the public and private key to that um, public address. You're going to go to network and I've set it for Ethereum, so one. You can also use BNB, which is two. And the max spend, um, I did the testing with 0.5, so I'm going to leave it at that. And then we're going to index HTML and we're going to go right click and open with and you can open with pretty much any web browser that can utilize javascript for the web 3 calls um, I did my testing on Firefox so that's what I'll use and starting up okay so right there is shot out an error and that you go, can go down to the error feedback now and it tells you warning wallet balance is less than max spend since this is the test key that I created just for the video, the wallet balance is zero, and the max spend is 0.5. So, yes, yeah, so it would error out with that. It's impossible to do anything with that. But this is pretty much how easy it is to configure, and um, super easy to run. So you, you would just leave this running in your web browser. So um, right now I'm using my Windows 10 laptop. I mean, you can pretty much use any kind of, I think, Chromebook, anything like that that you can run... Um, this inside your web browser. You might even be able to do it on a mobile phone. The only thing about the mobile phone is, 
it might go into hibernation and it would stop the um, the Web3 calls from being executed. So you probably want to use a laptop or a desktop or something like that. So I think I pretty much covered everything here. Um, I hope you liked the video and I hope you liked the program. Please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe for more updates. Thank you.